Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed your break. Um, welcome back. Now we're going to practice evaluating some expressions. In this little graph right here, you're gonna find your variables. Remember our variables are our letters in our expressions. So A equals four, D equals two, and C equals five. So let's go down here and look at our expressions. The first one, three plus A, and notice that there's no equal sign because these are expressions. So three plus A, we need to figure out what A is. Where do you think we're gonna find that information? Yeah, up in the chart right here. So we know that A equals four. What I like to do is rewrite my expression so that way I can see the information. So we know three, that's our constant, plus, and then we're just gonna plug in the four for our variable, so three plus four. Well, we know that, right? We know three plus four is seven. So our answer to number one is seven. Number two, remember how we said that when a number and a letter are stacked on top of each other, that means divide. So this says 15 divided by C. Which one is our constant? The 15, and that says divide. I gotta come up here and get my little division symbol. And then C. So we're gonna go back and look at our chart right here and figure out what C is. C is five. So it's 15 divided by five. And if you need to do the math on a sheet of paper, that's completely fine. What's 15 divided by five? Three. Let's look at number three, 18 minus D. Okay, pretty straightforward. We know it's gonna be 18 because that's our constant minus. And now we just have to go up and figure out what D is. So looking at our chart, D equals two. So I'm gonna go back down and I'm just gonna rewrite my, my expression, 18 minus two. And now we do the math. What's 18 minus two? 16. All right, here's this wonky one again. Remember when a letter and a number are bumped up next to each other, that means multiply. So this says 18 times A. Well, I'm gonna scroll back up and figure out what A equals. A equals four. So now I just go back down and I put in four for A. So it's 18 times four. Don't try to do it in your head, you'll get it wrong. Go ahead and get out a piece of paper and do the math. 18 times four equals 72. Okay, pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think you guys have that. If you have questions though, I want you to reach out to Mrs. Law or myself and we'll be happy to answer them. I can even show you a few more examples if you need. For tonight's homework, you are going to do the basic algebra worksheet and the basic algebra vocab worksheet. All right, and then go outside and play as long as it's not raining and do something fun. All right, bye. Talk to you later.